the elementary transformation one example this is a matrix a1 a2 a3 b1 b2 b3 c1 c2 c3 rows and columns now elementary transformation some points interchange of any two rows interchange means r1 interchange to r2 so matrix becomes is like this so r1 and r2 interchange row wise so b1 b2 b3 next is interchange r1 a1 a2 a3 and third row is same no change as it is c1 c2 c3 interchange of any two rows next is multiplication of any rows by non zero constant that means you take uh, in this matrix r3 is equal to k into r3 non zero constant multiply third row only third row the matrix becomes is like this the first two rows as it is no change a1 a2 a2 uh, a3 b1 b2 b3 then r3 is equal to k into r3 multiply each element k means k c1 k c2 k c3 okay the third point is to k times the elements of a row or column we add p times the corresponding elements of another row or column where k and p both are non zero constant that means uh, take second row r2 is equal to k into r1 plus r2 now see multiple k in first row and add it in second row this matrix is first row is no change as it is a1 a2 a3 and r2 is equal to k into r1 plus r2 means multiply the first row k k a1 plus b1 k a2 plus b2 k a3 plus b3 only second row and third row is as it is c1 c2 c3 this is a matrix eclon form of a matrix so eclon form so eclon form so two conditions the first one is all the zero rows are below non zero rows and second one the first non zero entry is any non zero row is 1 so examples are mentioned examples this is a eclon form now see the matrix 1 2 3 5 0 0 1 6 0 0 0 1 0 so first entry should be 1 required 1 see the second one 1 7 8 3 0 1 6 9 0 0 0 0 1 see, see the third one 1 4 2 0 1 0 0 0 0 and fourth one 1 2 3 2 0 1 5 7 0 0 3 2 0 0 0 9 all the zero rows are below non zero rows so zero rows below non zero rows the first non zero entry in any non zero row is one the first entry is this one so required non zero suppose zero is there you interchange any suitable row so required one in a first row first column see the all the four examples and see second one second row second column second element should be required one okay and also you find the rank of the matrix rank of the matrix means you count only non zero rows this rank of the, uh, of the matrix denoted by row a of a you count only non zero rows see this row is containing numbers is also numbers is also numbers this rank of the matrix is 3 non zero rows this is a zero rows and this one is also zero rows this is not a zero rows 
last uh, element containing numbers 1 second one also rank up the matrix only count non zero this is zero rows we, we take only these two these two are a non zero rows rank up the matrix is only two now take third one one and two third one is all elements containing zero the rank of the matrix is only two because one four two and one is there and fourth one is we find the rank of the matrix all rows are containing elements last one is nine is there so rank of the matrix is a four okay then how to solve the equivalent form some points are there working rule okay now equivalent form of a, a matrix two conditions the first one is all the zero rows are below non zero rows means these rows are below non zero rows this is a non zero rows non zero rows these two are also non zero rows and this is also non zero rows one is there okay all rows are non zero rows the first non zero entry in any non zero row is one the first entry required one if it is containing zero so take suitable row and interchange it okay most probably required one then rank of the matrix okay now see the rank of the matrix this uh, rank of the matrix denoted by row of a so count only non zero rows the first one is rank of the matrix is 3 because all three con rows containing numbers rank is 3 this rank is 2 because third row containing all elements are 0 and this is also 2 third one is a 0 so 1 4 2 1 2 rows non zero rows and fourth one is all rows are containing rows containing numbers the fourth one is containing 9 fourth last element so rank of the matrix is 4 and how to solve the equivalent form now is a working rule first one in order to reduce the given matrix to a row equivalent form we must to have the leading entry the first entry in the first row non zero we much preferably one second case in case when this entry is zero the first row first element is zero we can interchange with any suitable row to meet the requirement third one we then focus on the leading non zero entry starting from the first row to make all the elements in that column zero however the transformation has to be performed for the entire row 